in addition to smoking and sun exposure, there are also some surprising little things that can have a negative effect on the way we look. Here to tell us about everyday agers is Genevieve Monsma. She is beauty editor of More Magazine. Good morning, Genevieve. Good morning. Tip number one involves our computer. What should we be doing with our computer? Right. Well, most of us are looking at some sort of a screen all day long, be it a computer or some sort of handheld device. And it's natural when you're looking at the screen to squint. Yes. So, Especially if your font is this big. Exactly. Exactly. So squinting obviously causes creases to form beside your eyes. You do that repetitive motion day after day and eventually crow's feet are going to form. Mm -hmm. So step number one is to increase the font size okay. on whatever device it you're looking at. It doesn't mean you're getting old and your vision isn't right. so good. Get over it people. Right. This is preventative <laughs> too. Exactly. Um, as a general rule when you're thinking font size though, think of a children's book and the size of the type in there. It's okay. comfortable and easy to read. You don't need to squint. So we have an example here. Mm -hmm on the computer that just shows yep. you nice large font. Okay. Um, a second tip, it's not just the font size that causes you to squint, it's the light bouncing off the screen. The glare. The glare, precisely. So there, there are lots of screens or little protectors that you can put over. This one's by oh, Moshi, I've 33 bucks. I've never seen that before. Right, easy to apply. You don't get those bubbles that you sometimes do. And you can still see the screen just as Cut well. Cut the glare, right. No, no more squinting, no more crow's feet. All right, let's go to number two. We were talking about this outside. Right. We should not use a straw because well, it could increase, right. I guess, the wrinkles. Now look, yes, exactly, look. You pucker. Exactly, you pucker. Much like smoking, it causes some lines to form around your lips. You do that again day after day, week after week, and eventually those lines become permanent. So and theoretically, it's harder to remove lines than it is to remove yellow teeth. You've got it. You've got so, it. Exactly. I'm just exactly. Just brush your teeth after you sip your coffee or okay. whatever. Um, and what are these lipsticks? These. Well, the, the most important thing to do as an antidote, if you are a committed straw sucker, <laughs> the thing to do is to look for products that help plump this area. Mm. Take your anti-aging products right up to the lip line, and then this lipstick by L'Oreal Color Riche. It's got an anti-aging serum right in the center of it. It's there. not just a gimmick. It really. It's works. not just a gimmick. It has an ingredient that plumps the collagen in oh. your skin. Collagen's the stuff that makes your skin bouncy oh. and firm and sort of counteracts that constant right. pursing. Very good. This pillow will encourage us yes. to sleep on our backs. Yes. Those of you who still can sleep right. on your exactly. backs. Right, exactly. You're a side sleeper for the time being. Yes. Um, but sleeping on your side, when you wake up in the morning, you'll notice there are creases. Yes. Sometimes we're puffier on that side as a result. So if at all possible, it's important to try to sleep on your back. Now for some of us, that's easier said than done, mm -hmm. especially if we've been sleeping on our sides for decades. So this device here by Therapeutica, it's a pillow, and you can stick your head right in there, and it cradles mm. your neck. So even if you're doing sort of mm. acrobatics with the rest of your body during the night, your your head and your neck are held stable. Have you used it as a comfortable? I have. It is comfortable, and I was a devoted side sleeper, oh, so right. it does make a difference. All right, you wear sunglasses that have UV protection and wear creams around your eyes that have UV protection. How right. do you know if your glasses have UV? When you buy them, the FDA has mandated there need be a sticker or a tag attached that either says UV 40 or it'll say 100% UV protection. A lot of people probably don't remember. They don't remember. If right? you bought your sunglasses on the side of the street for 10 bucks, they probably don't okay. have UV protection. So as an insurance measure, use some sort of an eye cream that has SPF. This one from Neutrogena, SPF 25, um, flattering you know, to all skin tones, and it's got some good anti-aging ingredients good. too. And Lastly, ladies, or yes. Adam Lambert, an eyeliner <laughs> tip. <laughs> go right. ahead, show us right. how we should apply eyeliner. Okay, here we go. This is, oops, this is a gel liner. And rather, in the morning when we're in a hurry, so many of us drag the eyeliner across. So if you use it's a gel true. liner, just press. Press into the lash line. I get a little bit more product here. Because the idea is that you're not stretching your eye. Right, apply exactly, the eyeliner, exactly. Right? Don't just pull your lid enough so that it's taut and then press into the lash line here. Okay. As opposed to dragging. The eye the eye skin is very thin and delicate and it's prone to stretching. It gets loose and saggy and crepey. So long term this will help you out. And as you see, you get some nice accentuation there. <laughs> this product is from Shiseido. Very nice. Um, Gets the trick done. Thank Your you, lines. Thank you. Thank you as well. What's your name? Claire. Thank you, Claire. Thanks, Claire. Thank you.